Hey, hey, gorgeous mum. So I thought I would use my time wisely and do a blog for you in the car. Being a busy mum myself, I'm always on the go, but I'm really um, aware that education is the key. Now today, I wanted to talk about emotional eating. And this, I think, affects 99% of the population at times. But I think more so mums, um, you know, and after training thousands of mums, um, I think there are some real key points that I will speak about today that um, that if addressed, you will be able to get rid of emotional eating or at least take the steps to get there. So please listen. Now, as you know, um, if you've been on the program and seen all the educational webinars that I do, um, I'm very big into this and helping you understand the why. It's, it's not all about calories in, calories out. To be able to get the results that you deserve, we have to look at um, all these other areas. Sorry, my arm's now getting sore. Um, so first thing we're going to talk about with regards to emotional eating is the story that we tell ourselves in our head. Now, this is really important. Uh, a lot of mums go around telling themselves a negative story from the time that they wake up I'm not good enough um, you know um, you know I'm not proud of my body and all those negative unconscious conscious thoughts lead to negative action so I think the most important thing is is start to tell yourself a new story every day start to tell yourself that you do believe that, that you do believe you can do it start to tell yourself that anything is possible all right and you know start to tell yourself I take care of my body and I don't snack all right start to tell yourself these small little stories that are going to make a massive impact sorry I'm going to get rid of the light a massive impact on your emotional eating um, the next thing that we are going to change is your reward system um, so the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that you don't have any food in the house that you can snack on or go to and this is this is such a crucial crucial part of emotional eating because if you've got chocolate in the house if you've got chips in the house and something happens you know, if it's not there, you're not going to turn to it. And the kids don't need that food. Stop telling yourself the story that your kids need those snacks because they don't. They need healthy snacks. And that will be in another blog about how we can control what snacks are going in the house. So you have to make sure that you're controlling your reward system. And if you do have a stressful time, then the first thing that you're going to reach for is a relaxing herbal tea or a piece of fruit or a bowl of blueberries. You have to start changing those habitual patterns. And just remember, it's not going to happen overnight. This could take 7, 14, 21 days to change a habit. But if you haven't got the food in the house, if you're changing those um, habits to having a piece of fruit or having some grapes in the end being a mum means that life isn't perfect but you have to create some consistency with those reward systems all right um, now the next thing we need to do is create a new identity who are you what is your higher self what is the best person that you want to be and you need to revisit that purpose and that why every single day of who you are you know who and this is one of the reasons why part of the busy mum program is why we journal journaling helps reinforce those negative patterns within the mind it helps create that higher self it helps create that new identity today going back to that first one if you keep telling yourself the story in your head that you're not deserving of this body that you're not um that that you're down here instead of up here if you're if you're believing that you're up here every single day you're not going to allow yourself to snack on those foods because you believe that you can reach your goal you believe that you're deserving deserving of this you believe that you're an inspiration to your kids if you take action with your health and fitness you take your stress out in other ways and this is the next point that I get to you've got to manage your stress better how do we do that well number one we be mindful of it what are the triggers if you can identify the triggers that are stressing you out then you become more aware of it you do things like make time for yourself all right do some abdominal breathing do some yoga there's a great app called headspace that i recommend to all the mums that they do 10 minutes a day if you don't take that time out for yourself and take these 
um, you know, protocols or systems into place to be able to reduce the stress, emotional eating isn't going to be able to be dealt with properly. All right, and you have to ask for help. You've got to prioritize as you number one. And the things with mum, the thing with mums is a lot of mums don't prioritize themselves as number one. And that's not being selfish because if you are able to be the most happiest within yourself, your kids will be the happiest within themselves. Okay, so it's really crucial. And just learn to breathe. Abdominal breathing lowers the cortisol levels. If you're having a stressful moment, take yourself out of that emotion. As humans, we are led by emotion. If you can change your emotional state and, and create happiness, happiness and negativity or anger cannot be on the same boat. All right, so even if it's ringing a friend, even if it's going for a walk, even if it's going out with your friends and just laughing, create, change that emotional state so that you can get out of the stress and do what you need to do. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Please comment below if you need any help and I will um, we'll, we'll get you onto it. All right.